Hey, it's Susie from Nail Care Education, and I'm super excited because today we're gonna do roses on the nail. I think I'm gonna do a stiletto style, and we're gonna add some pearls and some jewels. This hand here is completely filled and prepped, ready to go. So if you're a nail technician, you'll know how to do that ahead of time. That should be prepared and prepped. So right now, I'm going to get a stiletto form. And I'm going to extend all of these fingers first with a stiletto shape. And I'm gonna be doing white roses, so therefore, I'm going to put a white French down underneath. So if the white roses have any gaps in between them, you'll see the French white underneath and it'll still make it look like a white bed. Now you can put different colors if you wanted, but I really want to make it look like it's just totally no space between roses, just like a ton of roses. So like what you'd see, maybe roses on the side of a cake, wedding cake coming down on the side like that. So put your form on. and that is a stiletto form. If you don't have a stiletto form, you can take two regular forms and then piggyback them together. And I'm just gonna start making the French white stiletto on all of these nails. It's, it's gonna take a bit of time, but we'll speed it up. I'm not gonna do this very high as a French. It's actually gonna be a little bit lower so I can fit the nail bed of flowers in it without making it appear too high. So I want it to blend in with the nail as opposed to sitting on top. So I'm gonna make this French very, very thin. I don't have to get too crazy with the French line right now because flowers are gonna be on it. So it doesn't matter about your product control so much as far as the white against white. It doesn't have to be super smooth again because you're putting flowers right on top. We're just trying to get a platform for the flowers to sit on top of. So as much as I really want to get started on the flowers, I'm going to do them all the um, stiletto French first and get that out of the way. And then I can just go crazy with the flowers, just adding them all in at once. Then I get in a groove. So, as soon as it dries, and that's how you can tell, that clicking sound, you can take it off if you feel comfortable. Oh, it's not quite drying the tip. Let's just leave it there. Okay, so I'm just gonna form and do all the rest of the fingers and get the white done. And again, the white, um, you can put pink on underneath, you can put, um, any color you want, really. I'm just putting the white on, so if there's any see-through between the flowers, um, you won't, you'll just see the white under it. You won't see any other color. I just want it to look really white. Sometimes my index hard to form because it's so pointy. When I first saw the stiletto, I didn't really like them. I thought they were really creepy. But now, I've really come to love them. Okay, it's very awkward doing your own hands sometimes. Again, and we're not looking for that perfect French. There's something about us text though, we always want to try to do a perfect French when we're faced with that. Tip when you're doing a perfect French, work with a very dry ball. Keep your brush dry and clean. You don't need to make your product control blend really well with each other because it's not going to be a solid white that we're going to see. All the roses are going to be right on top of it. So it doesn't have to be very smooth and even under here. So I've stilettoed them up and they're Frenched, but except the, the ring finger, I'm just going to make it a solid white so I can put roses on the whole thing from the cuticle to the tip. I'm just going to take the forms off now, just make sure they're dry, and just pinch it before you take it off and pull it from under so you don't break it. Okay, so now they're all ready to go and, and they're all hardened and cured. Um, they look a little rough but um, on the surface, but flowers are going on top of it, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to make them nice and thin. So I'm going to take my file and just clean up the edges underneath to make sure that it's nice and smooth because it might be harder to do that after you've put the roses on. 
And even if the tips look a little rough, that's okay. We're gonna be putting roses right to the edge. I'm just gonna thin this one out a little bit. Okay. So just cleaning up the edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the roses in individually. This is what's gonna take a long time. A lot of work in here. So when you're doing flowers, the key is to work with it quite dry. So the liquid to powder ratio, more powder than liquid. These are very, very simple flowers. This is where the patience comes in. I'm also using a much smaller brush. This was the brush size I used when I did the stilettos. This is the brush size I'm using to do the flowers. Quite a bit smaller. When you do the outside petal of one rose, go ahead and do the outside petals of other roses to let that dry. If you put more petals in here right away, it'll look mushy, it'll all blend into one. But if you put your little petal on there and let it dry and then put petals in later when it's dried, it has a little more definition, looks a little more like a flower. Try to make your roses relatively similar in size. If you do some little different sizes too, it'll give a bit of an assortment. like flowers. So now I've got the outside petals done and they're, you know, I've done quite a few, so they're drying up a little bit. They're probably cured now. I'm gonna put the inside petals in them once they're dry. I'm gonna continue on, but I just wanted to show you that part. This is also the time where you wanna put in your pearls or your caviar. This is turning out so adorable, I can't stand it. This is really, really cute. So I put some beads in there, pearls, and all the roses and the rosebuds are in there, and now I'm just gonna do all these fingers. So it's gonna take quite some time, probably maybe, maybe two hours. <laughs> so I'll get back to you when it's done and I'll show you the finished result. Okay, that didn't take long at all, just about an hour and a half, and it turned out really good. I'm really happy with them. Uh, as far as top coat, don't put a top coat on your flowers. You want it to look rather matte. The top coat should be just on the nail bed. That's where it should be. It looks really, really good that way. I really had fun creating these roses, and I hope you had fun watching. I've got more videos coming, so don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.